August 14, 2013. Guys, the, uh, one of the observatories in Arizona thinks that they have uh, recovered ISON. That means they have spotted it again on the telescopes. Now, they are double-checking it to make sure. They think it is, and I'm going to give you the information they got. It said that for several weeks, ground-based observers have been blind to comet ISON as our local star was sitting directly between us and the comet. We knew this was a temporary problem and expected that by the end of August, ground-based observers would begin to detect comet ISON, so long as it hadn't fizzled out during that time. So now I am delighted to share two pieces of good news. First, ISON is still alive and well, and secondly, that it has been recovered a couple of weeks earlier than I would have expected. Again, I'm reading this, and this is what we're looking at right there. Now, <clears throat> he says that the skies were somewhat overcast, uh, with, but that they had picked up the motion or double-checking their coordinates. And we're going to look at where this... Um, Observatory is in Arizona, and remember from the nor northeast at that point, it says the above image was recorded by amateur astronomer Bruce Gary using an 11-inch an telescope at Hereford Arizona Observatory and show comet planet exactly where predicted. Yes, the comet looks faint in this image, but it was only a few degrees above the horizon when this image was recorded, and the images are being somewhat washed out by twilight. It's actually a remarkable feat to have an image ISON this close to the sun, and Bruce is to be applauded for that. It should be noted that these images are awaiting confirmation, and indeed Bruce himself states very clearly that uh, a final claim that this is common ISON should be based on another clear morning's uh, observation showing the expected motion. Now, we're waiting on that uh, again, but it says this is critical point. While this certainly looks like a comet, does it move the way it would expect it to be moving? If it does, then there's another valuable piece of evidence that we are indeed looking at what we hope it is. And it goes on to give you some more information here. Um, I'm going to put a link to this so that you can go in and read it yourself. And I want to show you where that observatory is, and we can kind of look at where you would be uh, pointing from in the United States. Now, this is the observatory. It's just a small one, guys, but in that part of Arizona, which I just came back from this spring, you have beautiful night skies. You can see very clearly. And this one, it, this picture, it says it's illuminated by a full moon. It goes on to give you some other pictures from this area. It's beautiful country up there. He's got two back here that he checks out. I remember it's 11 inch. It's a pretty good telescope, guys. I wish I had one like that. And what I like about it is it's independent. If you know what I mean, we're not depending on the government to give us the information. This is the telescope. Now, this is the 14 inch one in the other building. The 11-inch one is the one that he picked it up with. Just some pictures. I'm going to put a link to it, give you some information. And let's look at it on the map. It's kind of surprising to me where we get the first pictures from. This is Hefford here. I'll pull this up. But we're looking north, and this way is east. And that's where the point of, they, they, we were, have been told to watch on the horizon. But again, we're at upper elevations in Arizona with clear skies. So let's pull this up and take a look. He's down close to the Mexican border here. Now you've got Tucson there and Phoenix here. Now the Phoenix is where I was at when we saw the 16 UFOs this spring. I've still got pictures of those. If anybody hadn't seen them, put them back up. But this is where we're dealing. This is where they're seeing ice hunt from, Mr. Bruce Gary. Right there. Now you've got mountain ranges on both sides. I'm going to pull it down. Just a small area here. A lot of Indian reservations in the area, things like that. Here's Thompson International Aviation Airport. And that's what we've got so far, guys. Again, I'll link to his site uh, and the um, workshop for ISON. And we should be getting the reports in there. If you guys get it before I do, let me know. Um, these pictures should be very interesting. 
is that now that we have what they call recovered it, then we should be able to start watching it closer. Maybe Hubble will come forth with some of those pictures they get every 15 minutes they like to brag about with our tax money. Heads up. <laughs>